Nutmeg's Flyers. It was the night before Christmas Eve. Centre Parks was a winter wonderland and magic sparkled in the air. This was Nutmeg the Reindeer's favourite time of year. Soon he'd be flying with a sleigh full of presents. With Santa calling out, Ho, ho, ho! What's this? said Nutmeg. There was an envelope tucked into his stable door, marked urgent. Inside was a letter. Dear Nutmeg, I'm in a pickle. Two of my reindeer have sprained their knees and I need replacements. The younger reindeer must learn how to fly immediately. You're my best flyer. I know you won't let me down. Yours hopefully, Santa. Teach them to fly, said Nutmeg, in one night? That's impossible. But Santa needed his help. So Nutmeg called out to his little sister. Clove, get all the young reindeer together. Tonight, you're going to learn how to fly. The forest was buzzing. All the animals had gathered to cheer on the new flyers. Nutmeg stood on a platform high up in the trees. While Clove herded the young reindeer up the steps. Clove's best friend, Cranberry, followed close behind. Lesson number one, said Nutmeg. You're going to learn what it feels like to fly. Who's first? Me, Nutmeg, Clove cried. I want to try. Nutmeg smiled and clipped on her harness. Ready, steady, go! Woo! Clove soared through the air, her hooves dangling far above the lake. Cranberry, she yelled. You have to try this, it's brilliant. But Cranberry seemed nervous. She shook her head. I'm not going on the zip wire. It's all right, Nutmeg said. I'm going to help you. I don't need help. I can learn to fly by myself. Cranberry sniffed and stomped back down the steps. Nutmeg was shocked. I've lost one flyer already. I must be a terrible teacher. Down on the ground, Nutmeg and his new flyers stood among the trees. Lesson number two, said Nutmeg, learning to navigate at night. His students got ready to run across the dark forest as fast as they could. But Nutmeg spied Cranberry peeking through the trees. Hmm, he thought, maybe I can help Cranberry after all. He whispered to an owl nearby, and the owl nodded. Little reindeer, the owl called out to Cranberry. Follow me, I've got great eyesight. I can lead you through the dark. But Cranberry snorted. I don't need help, I can learn by myself. She reared up on her hind legs, then took off at a gallop. She missed this tree, then that one, until finally, crash! Cranberry sat on the ground, rubbing her sore head. Oh dear, thought Nutmeg, this isn't going well at all. Lesson number three, Nutmeg said to his flyers. You're going to do a little lift off the ground. Oh yay, Clove clapped. Proper flying, I'll go first. She wobbled her knees and squished up her face, but nothing happened. Oh no, she said. But then a squirrel called out, You can do it, Clove! And a rabbit cried out, We believe in you! And all the animals joined in until Clove squealed, My hooves are tingling! Slowly, but surely, she lifted off the ground. Brilliant, Nutmeg said. Well done, Clove! Just then, he spotted Cranberry, watching through the bushes. So Nutmeg whispered to a swan nearby, and the swan nodded. Little reindeer, the swan called out to Cranberry. Why don't you try? 
I'll make a breeze under your hooves with my great wings. It will help you lift off the ground. But Cranberry tutted. I don't need help. I can learn by myself. She wobbled her knees and squished up her face. And then finally jumped as high as she could until... Whoom! She landed in a heap in a bush. Oh dear, thought Nutmeg. Poor Cranberry. This is it, your final lesson, Nutmeg said to his flyers. The takeoff test. Clove, you're up. At the end of the pontoon, Clove grinned. The animals of the forest began to whoop and cheer as she started running. Faster and faster she went, her hooves clicking, her legs tingling, and just before she hit the water, whoosh, up she went, soaring over the lake. Hooray, Nutmeg cried out. Great job, Clove, you're a natural. But along the shore, he saw Cranberry watching. Quietly, Nutmeg whispered to a group of rabbits nearby, and the rabbits nodded. Little reindeer, the rabbits called out to Cranberry. Let us dig up the soil to build you a mud ramp. It will help with your takeoff over the lake. But Cranberry snapped. I don't need help. I can learn by myself. With her head down, she scraped at the ground with one hoof. Then she was off. Faster and faster towards the lake, her hooves stamping, her heart pounding, until... Splash! Cranberry scrambled out of the cold water. Her teeth were chattering and she shivered all over. She sat on the ground and started to cry. It's no good, she sniffed. I'll never fly with Santa's sleigh. Nutmeg sat down next to her. Did you know, he said, that when I was learning to fly, I landed in the lake three times. What? said Cranberry. But you're Santa's best flyer. I wasn't always, Nutmeg replied. But then I learned what I was missing. What was that? A bit of magic. Cranberry shook her head. I don't have any magic. Oh yes, you do. Nutmeg looked at all the animals surrounding the lake. Everyone here loves you and wants to help you. And every piece of that love is a little bit of magic. You just have to let it in. He looked down at Cranberry. So, will you give it another try? Cranberry smiled through her tears and nodded. You've got this, Cranberry. We believe in you. Cranberry galloped towards the lake, going faster and faster. All around her, the animals cheered. And she felt the magic in her hooves. They tingled and tingled until finally, whoosh, she was soaring over the lake into the night sky. It was Christmas Eve night. Centre Parks was a winter wonderland and Santa's sleigh flew overhead. Ho, 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 the jolly man cried out. And Nutmeg smiled as Clove and Cranberry led the way. Whoa.